this morning, be magnified this afternoon, be magnified, be glorified, for the Bible says when two or three are gathered together, there's more than two or three of us, I believe we should open up our mouth and give God glory, hallelujah Jesus, he's the one who was, the one who is and is to come, he kept you when you should have been unkept, he kept you when you should have been uncovered, that's more than enough reason to give God glory, come on open up your mouth. Hallelujah. How many of you know that great and mighty is our God? Come on, tell your neighbor, say neighbor. Great and mighty is our God. Hallelujah. Come on, stand up. We came to give God glory and we came to give him honor. Come on, stand up, clap your hands. Is our God, is our God, great and mighty is our God, is our God, everybody great say. Great and mighty is our God, is our God, he is. great and mighty oh. is our God, is our God. So we say great and mighty is our God, is our God, great and mighty is our God, is our God, everybody Great say. and mighty is our God, is our God. He is. Great and mighty oh, is our God, is our God. So we say ruler, ruler is our God, is our God. Oh, ruler, ruler is our God, is our God, everybody ruler, say. Ruler, ruler is our God. Our God, ruler, ruler, ruler is our God, is our God. So we say, Savior, Savior is our God, is our God. Oh, Savior, Savior is our God, is our God. Our God, everybody say, ruler, ruler is our God, is our You're God. You're running your own Jesus. Ruler, ruler is our God, is our God. And we say, Jesus, Jesus is our God, is our God. Oh, Jesus, Jesus is our God, is our God. Is our God is our you reign and you rule Jesus? Jesus, Jesus is our God, is our God. Say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is our God, is our God. Say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is our God, is our God.
doing? Get up there when I should have been lying in the grave. In the grave. Though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death. To our God. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords to our God. To our God. Lord, you're worthy to our, to our God. Oh, to our God. To our God. You reign and you rule, Jesus, to our, to our God. There's none like you, none other beside you. To our God, to our God, to our God. Oh, say to our God, to our God. Good afternoon. I'll be reading Proverbs 3, 5 through 7. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto, unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. And the daily confession reads, My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Redeemed, cleansed, and sanctified by the blood of Jesus. My members, the parts of my body, are instruments of righteousness, yielded to God for his services and for his glory. The devil has no place in me, no power over me, and no unsettled claims against me. All has been settled by the blood of Jesus. I overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of my testimony. I love not my life unto the death. My body is for the Lord, and the Lord is for my body. Father, before we ask you for anything, we say thank you. We thank you for being God. We thank you for loving us even when we deemed ourselves unworthy of your love. We thank you for giving us the love like none other. Father, we thank you and we thank you for being God. We thank you for our pastor. We pray that you bless your manservant even now as he prepares to give us what you've given him. Let the word you've given him for this day, let it bring restoration, inspiration, and let it be refreshing. Let it bring deliverance, clarity, and healing. We thank you for what you're doing, and we will continue to do at ECC. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. So praise the Lord, everybody. Can we all stand to our feet and give God praise all over the building? Come on, I said give God praise all over the building. Can we open up our mouths as we clap our hands? Let's give him the greatest praise. Just because he woke you up this morning, started you on your way, gave you the breath of life. Can somebody open up your mouth and shout unto God with a voice of triumph? Come on, I need somebody to raise a sound in the building. Like you know you have joy, unspeakable joy, uncontainable joy. And when the enemy thought he had you, you got away. Come on, you ought to open up your mouth and show some sign that you have joy in the midst of what you're facing, in the midst of what you're going through. ECC, can you open up your mouth and shout unto God with the voice of triumph? Hallelujah. I need you to look at your neighbor and tell him, neighbor, 
Today we're rejoicing in the Lord. And this is the reason why, because where I should be sad, I have a testimony that I have some joy. I woke up with joy. The scripture says weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And can you lift your hands and say, I got joy. I have joy. I have, I have it. I got it. Come on, somebody just screaming in the atmosphere. I got joy. If y'all ready to praise him, I need you to open up your mouth and shout all over the building. Hallelujah. I need y'all to clap your hands like this. Come on. Come on. Everybody clap your hands. Come on. Like this. Y'all ready? Song. Come on, say. We will not be shaken. We will not be moved. We will not be moved. For the Lord is we show the Lord is beside us. In Him we cannot lose. In Him we cannot lose. Through the shadows surround us. Shadows surround us. We will fear no evil. Come on. We will fear no evil. We trust in the Lord, yeah. We trust in the Lord with our hearts. So with our joy, we will dwell. Come on, I need you to clap your hands like this. Come on. The song says, Though the night, though the night may be Y'all gotta move and see joy is coming. Joy is coming, coming, coming in the morning. All the praise. All praise to Jesus. I know joy is coming. I know joy is coming. If you got joy, come on, we will not be shaken. We will not be shaken. We will not be moved. We will not be moved. Why? Because the Lord is beside us. Lord is beside us. Hey, in Him we cannot lose. We cannot lose. Hey, though the shadows surround us, shadows surround us. We will fear no evil. We will fear no Trust in the Lord. We trust, trust in the Lord with our hearts and in your joy. I need all the people to get on your feet. Let's go. Lift your voice and shout. Though the night, though the night is weary, hey, joy is coming. Joy is coming, coming, coming in the morning. All praise, all praise to King Jesus. Jesus, I know joy. Is I know joy is coming. Tell them I got joy. Look at somebody else and tell them we got joy. Tell your neighbor, wake up, because joy is here. I need y'all to do me a favor. Everybody clap your hands. Come on, come on, come on, come on, clap your hands. We want to declare this in the house. Hey, your light can drive all darkness and bring our joy to light. We won't submit to sorrow. Our joy is coming in the morning. Does anybody believe that today? It's coming in the morning. Come on, everybody, lift it up. Everybody say, your light can drown. Your light can drown our darkness hey. and bring our joy to light. We won't submit to sorrow. Why? Our, our joy, joy is coming in the morning. This is what I believe is coming in the morning. In the morning. Let's do it again. Come on, everybody say, your light can drown. Your light can drown our darkness and bring our joy we to light. We won't submit. Submit to sorrow. Our joy is coming in the morning. It's coming in the morning, yeah. In the morning. One more time, lift it up. Everybody say, you like it, try. You're like it, try. And bring it, bring our joy. We won't submit. We won't submit to sorrow. Our joy is coming in the morning. In the morning. Shout it out to God. In the morning. Come on, say, throw the night. Hey, joy is coming. Joy is coming, coming, coming in the morning. All praise, all to, praise to Jesus. Cause I know joy is coming. I know joy is coming. I need to leave this. Let's go. Say, go with the night. Go with the night. Hey, lift it up. Say, joy is coming. Come joy on, is yeah. coming, coming, coming in the morning. All praise to Jesus. Cause I know joy is I know joy is coming. Your light can drown our 
Testify to your neighbor, say, Joy is coming, coming, coming in the morning. All praise, all praise to King Jesus. It feels so good in the room, say, I, I know joy is coming. Come on, though the night, though the night may seem weary. Come on, say, Joy is coming, joy is coming, coming, coming in the morning. All praise, to all praise to King Jesus. I know joy is, I know joy is coming. One more time, lift it up. Come on. Though the night, though the night may spirit, come on, joy is coming, joy is coming, coming, coming in the morning. Oh, praise, oh, to, praise King to King Jesus. Yeah, I don't think they're singing. I know joy is. I know coming. joy is. Y'all stop. Let me hear y'all sing it out. Say, see, though the night. Let's go, E C C. Say, joy is. Oh, praise. Ooh. I know joy is. Put a clap to it. Come on. Say, oh, the night. Hey, joy is coming, coming. In the morning. Oh, pray. Let's go. I know joy is. Let's go. Hey, say, hey. Come on. Your life can drown our darkness and bring our joy to life. We won't submit to sorrow. Our joy is coming in the morning. I need you to wake up and smell the car set in the morning. Come on. One, two, three. Your life can drown, Your life can drown our darkness and, and bring our joy, our joy to we life. We won't submit to sorrow. Our joy, our joy is coming in the morning. It's not coming, up, but it's coming. We got to her right now. This is the reason why I didn't come in here with a sad story. This is why. Hey, because we got to her right now. If you got joy, you ought to move in your seat right now. Lift it up. Come on. Say, we got to her right now. We got to her right now. You see, see, we don't got a sad story. But the joy of the Lord is our strength. Let's go. We got to her right now. 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 We got joy 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 right now. Joy unspeakable. We got joy right now. Joy uncontainable. We got joy right now. 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 I don't know what you came in the building for, but you want to lift your hands. We got joy right now. We got joy right now. Yes, sir. This is the reason why I praise. Look it up, say, we got joy right now. 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 Lift it up real loud, 
to fellowship and worship with you all here this afternoon on part two of Generation Now Takeover Month. Come on, let's give it up. Generation Now Takeover. Let's, let's continue praising the Lord for our senior leader, Pastor Corey. For Lady Sherry. For Overseer. And everyone in the ministerial places to you, 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 and you. We praise God for you that have uh, joined us this, this afternoon here in the sanctuary. And to those of you who have joined us in our cyber sanctuary. Uh, if you have not done so, you have time. You still have time to, one, join us here in the sanctuary, but to share, like, comment, and put the hashtag, you still have time time to be here amen again we welcome you once twice in jesus name uh in the way of announcements uh regarding generation now uh takeover month uh this on the 24th friday the 24th will be game night here at the empowerment christian church so and it's not just for the young people come on out come on out Come on out. Let's have fun with uh, in the Lord, for the Lord. Uh, bring your friends. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. And the person who brings the most people, y'all get a good prize. I'm not telling y'all what it is, though, but y'all get, <laughs> get a really, 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 really good pro prize. Uh, and uh, regards to tubing on the 25th that has been postponed a uh, new date is tentative so be uh pay attention to your realm it'll be up there uh but in place of that we will be meeting at 11 a.m to go feed the homeless amen uh you, if you want to participate 
uh, donate. Please see Sister Brittany Fuller. She is uh, in charge of that. She didn't know, but now she knows. <laughs> Bless her heart. Um, and then come back on, come back here Sunday morning, February the 26th, and join us as we close out our youth takeover month. Amen. Amen. Uh, as far as acknowledgments, I would like to give it up to our resident Olympian. <laughs> Miss Imani, she is not only tearing up these, the, uh, the track, she is also excelling, doing wonderful, wonder, wondrous things in her academic life on top of balancing being a co-captain for the career high track team. And here's just a little bit of her stats from the last two track meets. Uh, they came in first place for the 4x200 relay at Southern Connecticut Conference, qualifying them to go to the state championship. They, uh, as of yesterday, they came in first in the 4x200 relay for the SEAC championship. Imani has uh, her personal best. Uh, first place in a 55 meter dash at 7.50 seconds and a 300 meter dash at 42, uh, 42.60 seconds. And they will be competing in the state championship where when this Saturday. So I will ask that everyone keep Sister Imani, our resident Olympian. The more she runs, the more scholarships come in. <laughs> Not a dime shall be paid for her to go to college. Amen. And we're decreeing and declaring that win right now. In Jesus' name, uh, now in the hands of Sister Brittany for offering. Amen. Let's prepare our hearts and minds for the ministry of giving. If you have not received an envelope upon entering the sanctuary and you would like one, please see anyone from our hospitality department. There are four ways to give here at Empowerment Christian Church. For those of you online who would like to sow into the ministry, rather be a tither offering, the given information is on the screen. At this time, I'm asking everybody to please stand. Place your, your gifts in your right hand. Because why? The right hand. Strength and authority. Thank you. You guys can repeat after me. Today I present my tithe, offering, and love gifts. This is my first and my best. As we give today's offerings, we believe we receive jobs, raises, and bonuses, benefits, sales, and commissions. Settlements, estates, and inheritances, interest and income, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, lost money found, gifts and surprises, bills paid off, mortgages, car loans, and student loans paid off, debts demolished, royalties received, all of my needs are met. We've received the grace to walk in overflow and fulfillment. We expect more out of heaven than ever before. I've received my harvest now by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. You are now in the hands of the ushers.
bless the gift, bless the giver. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And now we will have our moment in black history presentations. Uh, moment in black history began for me as a way for the youth and young adult of Empowerment Christian Church to learn about people, places, and things that they may never learn about in the classroom and in some cases at home and if you live in the state of Florida. But anyway, stay focused. <laughs> if you know me, if anybody knows me, you know I love me a little known black history fact. We could thank Tom during the morning show for that one. Um, for over the next few weeks, I'll, uh, we'll be highlighting a few special people who were um, inspirational and, uh, or not inspirational, yeah, inspirational and uh, going towards the field of their choice as far as career and things like that, or just anyone inspirational. Me personally, I'll be highlighting a few people uh, locally who were the first to do such and such. Amen? All right, so we will have first up uh, Sir Aaron Steed. He's going to come first and um, give you his black history, moment in black history. So I ask that everyone please give them your attention and cheer them all, smile at them, because some of them are nervous. Amen. Good afternoon, y'all. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it very short. Um, but yeah, um, the person who inspires me um, is Tyler Perry. Um, he is an actor slash director, and he is one of the smartest black billionaires that I think that there is. Um, he inspires me because we have a lot in common. He grew up in church just like I did, but also he became a minister in the Lord's Church, which not many people know. Um, not only did he do that, but he has his own studio and film production company in Atlanta, and he said, I created it so black kids can act too. And that is where he first signed actors Taraji P. Henson and Idris Elba. And now he has a net worth of $1 billion. And that definitely is something that's going to expire. Me. But yeah, thank you. Next up is Miss Dylan. Good afternoon. Today's moment in black history will spotlight Congressman John Lewis. John Lewis was an African American civil rights leader, born February 21st, 1940. Lewis was also the first African American lawmaker to lie in the state of the rotunda of U.S. Capitol when he passed away in July of 2020. Growing up in the segregated South, John Lewis knew that there was more to life than what he and those who looked like him experienced on a daily basis. For this reason, he dedicated his life to service. While there are many instances where John Lewis has made a difference, most notable happened in March of 1965, John Lewis stood with the other civil rights leader as they led peaceful protests across Edmund Peters Bridge in Selma, Alabama. Their, their planned march would take them to, to Montgomery, the state capital, to demand equal voting rights. As they crossed the bridge, armed Alabama police officers on horseback carrying tear gas whip and bully clubs attacked them. At least 40 protesters required treatment, and John Lewis suffered a fractured skull. This was a major time period because most, on, most TV outlets carried this attack live on TV, and people were able to see America's injustice firsthand all across the world. Five months later, with, with Lewis among a collection of civil rights leaders, at the White House, including his mentor, Dr. Rev. Martin Luther King Jr. President London Johnson signed the Voting Rights Act of 1965 into law. My favorite quote from Congressman Lewis is when he says, 
when you see something is not right, not fair, not just, you just you have to speak up. You have to say something. You have to do something. John John Lewis lived a great life, has also and he has also changed a lot of minds. John Lewis has accomplished many things. He has also encouraged me to keep moving forward even when things seem tough. If anybody knows Dylan, that was a big feat, and I am so grateful for her being the first to do this this morning, amen, or this afternoon. Okay, so really quickly before uh, the next voice that you hear will be that of uh, Pastor Corey. So the person that I'm highlighting today, or persons, they were the first. This lady was the first black police officer in the town of Hamden. And she is my cousin, the late Jeetha Cottrell. She, along with another man by the name of Danny Blue, they were both the second and the third, but she was the first woman to be sworn in as a Hamden police officer. Uh, she, they were, uh, the first man was a name, man by the name of Sam Jones. I said, what, since we were talking about the first of my family to break seal, the glass ceilings, let's talk about my uncle Richard Cottrell, the first black motorcycle cop in the city of New Haven. Amen. So I'll be back next week with more little no locally little known black history facts. Why? Because again, we can thank Tom Joyner for that. Um, and thank you for your time. Asking everyone to please rest on their feet. And let's uh, thank God and round of applause for our pastor, Pastor Corey R. Salisbury. Come on, clap your hands and give God a real good hand praise. Come on, you could do better than that. Clap your hands and give him better praise. We praise and we thank God because this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. I don't have a lot of time this afternoon. Amen. As, as many of you are aware, the church is in use this afternoon. Yeah, so if you're not busy, if you're not a fan of the Super Bowl, amen, come on out. There's a quartet concert here. Uh, I believe it's ticketed and it's uh, ten dollars uh, at the door. Amen. So if you're interested, there is a concert here this afternoon at 4:30 p.m. Amen. And you know how quartet concerts go, so you, they may be here till 10. Amen. So if you're looking for some good quartet gospel music, come on and out and enjoy. Amen. Amen. Now, while you're standing, let's go to the Word of God. Amen. We praise and we thank God. I pray that you've had a wonderful day thus far. Haven't I? You've done a wonderful job. Amen. They've done a wonderful job. Amen. Also, I don't know if it was announced next Sunday is for the culture Sunday. Amen. So you come, amen, decked out in your dashikis and uh, whatever it is, your head wraps and not your bonnets, your head wraps. All right. All right. Let's make that clear. All right. In Jesus name. All right, come out with your, your dashikis, your head wraps, your uh, kente cloths, whatever it is. Amen. You got to tell somebody, let's do it for the culture. Amen. Go with me very quickly to Psalms 27. Amen. Give me prayerfully about 15 minutes. And don't tell me that, overseer. Amen. Give me about 15 minutes. I'm not done with this message, but I want to give you what I have. Is that all right? Psalms 27, we'll read the verse in the chapter in its entirety we thank God for our overseer amen hey come on you can do better than that I know you got your phones in your hands clap, clap the back of your hand there we go we thank God for our first lady my beautiful wife lady Sherry amen to all of our children to our ministerial staff and amen very quickly Psalms 27 1 through 14 it says the Lord is my light in my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and they fell. Though an host should encamp against me, 
my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me. In this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord. That will I seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord. All the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord. And to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry my voice, have mercy upon me and answer me. When thou saidest, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my mother and my father would forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy ways, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are ri risen rather up against me. And such as bray, breath out cruelty, breathe out cruelty rather. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Somebody say thank God for the reading of his word. I want to preach to you for the next 15 minutes or so in time. Wait on the Lord. Just look at your neighbor before you take your seat and say neighbor. Wait. Next page. Sorry. Verse 14. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's foreshadowing, y'all. That's what you don't got the title. You don't have the title yet. Verse 14 says, Wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Well, it sounds like you're ready to preach with me. Just look over at your neighbor and say, neighbor, oh neighbor, wait on the Lord. Take your seats in the presence of the Lord. Tell somebody you gotta wait on them. Old folks will say, I'm gonna wait to see what the end is gonna be. Tell somebody one more time, you gotta wait on God. You gotta wait on God. All right, y'all already taking 60 seconds out of my time. Already taking 60 seconds. Gotta wait on God. Gotta wait on him. Because he's going to do just what I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Y'all help her. I'm gonna tell you why she dancing. Then you gotta understand the process of waiting on God. She was going through a situation. I ain't gonna tell you everything. But her and her family were going through a situation where they had to move out of the place where they were living. The place that they had called home for such a long time. And she said, Pastor Corey, you spoke the word over my life. And I had no choice but to believe what God said he was gonna do. And every week after week after week after week, she said nothing would happen. But she said, Pastor, I still held on to the word, whether it was by the 31st or whether it was by that Friday, I believe that God was gonna do something. She said, Pastor, I saw something and I called my realtor 
And I said, we got to go look at it. She said, 24 hours after looking at it, her offer was accepted. Well, you better go ahead and praise them, Sister Karen. I need somebody that's not jealous to clap your hands and help her praise them. Wednesdays ago in a church meeting I made the church spread out and I made the church get on every row and what do we do at ECC we take our right hand and we fan it down our row like a flame and we said this year ECC is going to be owning so if you in a row in ECC I'm here to prophesy over your life Make preparations to own. Make preparations. Get your finances right. Get your mind ready. Cause it's 2022. He's getting ready to do it big in 2023. Tell somebody no going back. But he's getting ready to do it in 2023. Hey. This is my year to own. This is my year to prepare myself like I've never done before. To have what I never had. To get what I've never had. Tell somebody you're getting ready to see it. Tell somebody you're getting ready to see it. Now tell them, say it's in your head. Because eyes have not seen, neither ears, neither has it entered into the heart of man. The great thing, the great thing, the great thing. That's it, Paula. 
she's at home writing in the comment section that she's getting ready to see it. Somebody shout, I'm getting ready to see it. All right. I've got nine and a half minutes. Take your seats. Uh, well, she gonna go ahead and praise him. I dare you just tell somebody it's only a matter of time. He's going to do just what he said. I may not know how, but all I know is any day now. And all I got to do is hold on to what God said. All right. All right. Watch it. Tell somebody, say, all I got to do is hold on. Because he's going to do just what he said. Tell somebody by Friday, I'm going to see it. All right. All right. Somebody shout it one more time. Put your hand on yourself and say, by Friday, I'm going to see it. By Friday. Y'all got to cooperate with me this morning. Devonna, sit down. Somebody just grab Elder Lewis by the elbow and just pull her back to her seat. Y'all not be... Heartbreak right here. All right. Bless you. Elijah, no. <laughs> I got to get this out. I got eight and a half minutes. <laughs> Tell somebody I'm holding on to his promise. And I'm holding on to his word. Because if he gave me a promise... All you got to do is wait for it. All right. Anybody still holding on? <laughs> I said, anybody still? Sister Karen, sit down. Because <laughs> we don't want to get Sister Wanda going. I'm not, I just want to let you know as I feel it, as I feel it all the way down the spine of my back, Sister Ashley, what you need is here. I wasn't saying for her, I was just saying in general. But I'm gonna let her have that. I need somebody to help her praise him. Hey! Nah, 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 nah. Come on, I dare you just pull it down, pull it down and say what I need is already here. Ah, uh, yeah. What I need is here right now. What you need is here right now. I dare you.
you lift up your hands and say, my body is healed. Come on, lift your hands and say, my body is healed. Come on, lift it up. Come on, it's all in the atmosphere. And say, my body is healed. From the crown of your head. From the crown of your head. Come on, y'all, I'm trying to move. But from the crown of your head. To the sole of your feet. Be thou made whole. That's it, Sister Brenda. Your body is healed. Yes. Grande Mahaya. Come on, church. First lady, you're dancing into a way already made. Somebody shout, provision is here now. I said, somebody shout, provision is here now. I'm not even going to play with this, but I'm going to tell you a t quick testimony on her behalf. It ain't, it ain't done yet. Tell somebody it ain't done yet. It still remains to be seen. Take your finger and scribble it as if you're writing and say, and it shall come to pass. She's working at a job that she doesn't mind working. She drives about 45 minutes every day. And you know, inflation and gas, that's a lot. And so she put in the praise a few weeks ago and said that she was believing God was gonna open up a door for a job. Not just a job, but the job that she wants. Don't you know within a matter of days, she got a phone call from two different opportunities? And when she sat down and she began to talk to me, she said, I don't know which way to go, what to do. And I said, we serve a God of choices. He'll give you, somebody say, and another one. And give, you, give them the opportunity to fight over you. But I decree and declare, not only is she gonna get the job that she wants, but they're gonna have to give her the money that she deserves. Now very quickly, because she got some things coming up that the enemy would try to hinder the next move. But somebody shout, the devil is a liar. Because when you dance for your first lady, watch this, God is getting ready to open up that door for you. Did you hear what I said? I said, when you put your feet on the floor for your first lady, God is going to open up a door for you. Watch this. Hold it. Watch this. Number one, if you say, Pastor Corey, I need a job, raise your hand. Now, if you say, <laughs> you, you are on my wavelength. If you say, Pastor Corey, I need another job or a better job, raise your hand. We in February. That means that God can't do it by the 31st because there's not 38, 31 days in this month. So that means for somebody, as God has done it for her within a matter of days, he got to come through for you by the 28th. I dare you to start dancing now and say it's already done. Elijah, help sis behind you, praise him. Because she prays him, help her, help her, help her. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you have that. But there you go. There you go. There you go. Praise him in the seat until you can stand up. Tell somebody I'm praising. It's a better job. I'm praising because things just got better. I'm praising them. Cause my pay just got increased. I'm praising them. Cause I've just entered into a new tax bracket. And 
this time, I'm going to learn how to handle my money. Because what he does for one, he does for them all. Minister Keisha texts me now. She's been working the same job for years. Been trying to find a job and just ain't found it. This week she went on an interview. And then after the interview, she found out that the person that interviewed her not only was trying to hire her, but was trying to find ways to make it full time. And then called her the next day with the job approval. Less than 24 hours later, Minister Keisha just came and whispered over into my ear that she just checked her voicemail and received another job offer. Tell somebody, this is your season for choices. If you wait on God. If you wait on God. God's got a way that's mighty sweet. Don't do it in your own self, but wait on God. There's a renewing factor that comes when you learn how to wait on God. Are you hearing me? I said there is a renewing factor, hit me family in the back, that comes when you learn how to wait on God. Because how many times have you found yourself in a situation where you moved before the hand of God just to make things worse than what they already were? But thank God we serve a God of grace and mercy. That even when we put our hand to it and we mess it up, he has a way of putting his hand in it and telling you that all things will work together. For the good of them that love me and to those that are what? Called according to his purpose. I just want you to put your hand on yourself and I'm, I'm letting you go because I'm not obviously not getting to this today. Put your hand on yourself and just say everything is about to work out. Everything, everything is about to work out. I know for somebody this week may seem like it's been one of the hardest weeks of your life, but I'm here to let you know that everything is getting ready to work out. And I heard the Lord say to tell you that everything is getting ready to work itself out. You ever sit back and begin to look at some things and before you know it, things just happen? God said, because my hand is already in it. And I'm already making the pathway straight. He said, I'll make the darkness light before you. And whatever's wrong, he said, I'll make it right before you. Just put somebody's hand in your hand. <laughs> Just put somebody's hand in your hand. And say, neighbor, I've come by to let you know that everything that's been wrong in your life God just made it right. That's it, Malaysia. I said everything that was wrong in your life, God just flipped. He just flipped the script and made everything right. Tell somebody you got to go on through the process and you got to grow on process what's what's your names back there I, I know I know y'all I know who you are but but 
from the mama on down, from the mama to the oldest to the next oldest to the youngest, say your names and say it loud. Huh? Taniella, right? Tanyel. Nia. Who? Divine. Tanyel. Nia. Divine. And Marcus. Just lift your hands together. See, I did it like that. Yeah, there you go. The Lord told me to tell you that your season is not only changing, but your season is shifting. Somebody say their season is changed and their season has shifted. I speak to the turmoil, not only in your household, but I speak to the turmoil in the minds that will try to cause separation and division in the family. And I speak to a wholeness and I speak to a unifying power that can only come from God. The Lord said that the assignment of the enemy is to cause you to be so distracted with life that you miss his hand in it the whole time. But the Lord says to remind you that even in the bad days, even in your darkest nights and your loneliest of seasons, that it is my hand that has kept you. And because of the fact that you've been able to hold on even when the waters have gotten wavy, even in the fact that you've been able to hold on, even when the waters became rocky, even though you were able to hold on when the tears flooded your mind and you could not see which way to go, when you were bogged down with confusion, the Lord says, now I grant you my peace because the enemy's job is to cause you to be so bogged down with mind issues and mind games that it will cause you to miss the very mark of God. And I heard the Lord say to tell you that you've even missed the moment that God called for your exodus. But the Lord told me to tell you that that time and that season has come for you once again. He says to tell you as a family that one can't come out this time without the family coming out. He said because this next deliverance is not just for one person. But he said, this next deliverance is for the whole house. I need somebody to open up your mouth and shout, God deliver now. Hey. Overseer, I want you, Pastor Kentrell, I want you to go lay hands on Marcus. Overseer, I want you to lay hands on Tanyelle. Lady Sherry, I want you to lay hands on Divine. I said it right? Lay hands on Nia, which is on the far end with the Nike headband. Elder Lewis, where you at? Go lay hands on Dee Dee, the one in the middle. And when you lay hands on them, just say one word, deliver. 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 Randa Bahaya. Deliver. 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 Right now, right now. It's your season to live, y'all. I said it's your season to live. I said it's your season to live. Don't die here. Don't give in now. It's your season to live. I speak healing and I speak wholeness. I said I speak healing and I speak wholeness. I speak healing. Nothing missing. Take it to church. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Yes, 
Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, Lord. Oh, 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 oh. oh my, 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 my. Somebody, he's here. Stand up for me. Yes. Lift your hands in the posture of receiving. I want you to say it and then I want you to praise him because this is the Lord's will for you. Not just your house, but the Lord says your bloodline. I want you to say it, and I want you to start praising as a seal. This is the last day. Say it. This is the last day that the enemy will have a stronghold on my bloodline. Now start praising. This is the last day. I destroy the yoke. And I lift the burden. I said I destroy the yoke. Ay, ay, ay. And I lift the burden. I decree your family is free. I said I decree your family is free. Anything they were pound with. Declare their freedom. Pull the sunset free. Fire. I dare somebody shout, my family is free too. My bloodline is free. Free from every addiction. Free from every illness. Free from every curse. Free from every word curse. Free from every witch. Free from every warlock. For whom the sun set free. Yeah. Randa Bahaya. Reketa Bababashaya. Oh. I'm free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. It's just a blessing. Praise the Lord. Yes. Now they back there praising. Because freedom looks good on you. I said freedom looks good on you. Freedom looks good on you. Yeah. I take 
tell you to lift your hands at a newfound freedom. Free to worship. Free to lift my hands. Free to say amen. Oh. Yeah. Ay, 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 ay. Sherry, come here. Pastor Stacy, lift your hand. Lady Sherry, when I tell you, I want you to take your right hand and I want you to press it right in the midst of her belly because I'm getting ready to release you from the pain and the pressure of your right now season. When I count to three, Say freedom and deliverance. One, two, three. Press in. Press in. Press in like you got the Holy Ghost. Hey, oh, that's it. Rakabasho. Rekatabahaya. Freedom and deliverance. I release you from the pain and the pressure. That other folks are putting on you. I release you now. Don't worry about what they said. Don't worry about what they do. God says, I've graced you for this assignment. And it's not going to take you out. It's not going to make you go under. It's not going to make you throw in the towel. But I've graced you for this. I've graced you for this. Somebody shout, you've got the grace for it. Whoa! You've got the grace for it. He's giving you grace and resolve. Praise him, Coleman. I said he's giving you grace and resolve. One more time, come on. Everybody clap your hands. Well, praise him in the back, Malaysia. I didn't see you. Praise him, Brother Joe. I saw you. All right. I got to get this off you. What's your name? What's your name? Huh? Annalise? Ayanalise. Lift your hands, Ayanalise, because this ain't your first time here, so you know how we do. Just lift your hands because I see something brand new getting ready to hit you. Just lift your hands. Can you lift them up behind it? There you go. Because this time I want you to say, God. No, no, no. I want you to make sure God can hear you. Huh? This time. I want it all. Oh, you want it all. Or do you want it all? All right, so say it this time. I want it all. Now close your eyes. Give me some oil. That's good. When I lay my hands on you, I'm releasing you from this place of stress, of overthinking and overanalyzing where you are in life and where it is that you are to go. When I lay my hand on you, I'm going to say one word that's getting ready to be your mantra. I know our mantra is what? Big for this year. But 
Annalise, you're Ayanna Lise, like Anyama Van Zandt, Ayanna Lise. Your mantra for the rest of the year is the word that says free. Oh, come on, come on, somebody. Receive it. Come on, let her go, let her hope. My shiki I never hope. Yes. I release it over your life. Hey. I said I release it over your life. I said I release it over your life. Hey. I said I release hope. Oh. I release it over your life. Never the same. But I anoint your hands. I anoint your ears up. I anoint your mind. Hey, Somebody shout, I got a lease. Be free. Oh, to the work on. 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 Hey, Rata. Be free, be free, be free. Oh, my, my, my. Take your seats. Never. Hiya. She looked like she was about to dance. <laughs> she looked like she was about to do something. But I pronounce over your life a newfound freedom. Never second guess yourself again. Somebody just wave at her and say free. Well, go ahead, Elijah, help her. Go ahead, I dare you. Oh! Come on, that's it. Let it hit you. That's it. I wish I had a church that would support her and clap your hands in her direction. Because God is doing it for her right now. What's your name? You knew I was coming. What's your name? Huh? Nicole, lift your hands. Have you been here before? All right. I just want you to say today is the first day of the best days of my life. Say it one more time. Today is the first day of the best days of my life. Because you decided to walk, you could have walked through any doors, but you wouldn't have got that word. Because this door was a sign for you today to walk into a newness of self. God said to tell you, say your name one more time. Nicole, the Lord told me to tell you that your past is already done and that he's already pre-orchestrated your Monday for you to walk into a newness of yourself because I hear the Lord say to telling you that you have been your worst critic. You have been your worst critic and you have put yourself in a place that has caused you to miss the very mark that God has called you to be in. You've told yourself over and over again that you should be further along by now. You've told yourself over and over again that you shouldn't even be in this place right now. You've told yourself if you could just start over again that you would do things differently. Well, God told me to tell you not only is he giving you an opportunity to start over, he's giving you an opportunity to start fresh, but he said he's giving you everything that you need. And within the next two months, hear me, with it, don't you don't you go missing folks come here get a prophecy and then they leave and they come back afterwards don't you go missing I don't know who church you belong to I'm not trying to pull you away but don't you go missing 
because the Lord says over the next 60 days, he's getting ready to do something for you, number one, financially, that's getting ready to change the trajectory of your life. Hear me. Hear me. Because with this new financial freedom, God says he's causing, calling you and causing you to come to an elevated place of thinking. He says you can't squander this one away because if you squander it away, he's not going to come back and give you what's next. Hear me. Hear me. God blesses us with little things to give you a precursor or a glimpse of what it is that he's going to do for you. But because we don't have the mindset or the capacity to receive it, we squander it away. And then we begin to ask God, God, when are you going to do it for me again? You just did it for me last month. I need another one. God said, I can't give it to you if you don't know how to handle it. But God says, this next miracle and this next blessing is a test of your faith. Can God trust you? Yes, we know we can trust God. But can God trust you? Just look at, just, just look at somebody. That's why he said, prove me now in this. You can trust God. You can take that to the bank. You can take this word to the bank. Because you're going to be there shortly. But can God trust you to, with this next blessing? Do you know how to dance? you know how to run in place? I need you to take 30. I need you to listen. We, we building a culture of dancers here. I want you to take 30 seconds. And I want you to start running the place. Whatever you got to do. However you praise them. Elder Lewis, help her praise them. Somebody say, God just did it for Sister Nicole. And the Lord told me to tell you, Sister Nicole, don't worry about the family situation. He said, I just worked it out. He said, I just worked it out. And he said, also, don't worry about your living arrangements because you just got upgraded. I need somebody to praise them. Come on, clap your hands, church. and put it over your head as if it's a halo and say everything about me just got upgraded. name that you bring to church what's her name huh huh the same name lift your hand sister Nicole I want you to say these words and because you've been praising them I've been watching the videos I said was that that sister that just came with sister D that just shouted like that the Lord told me to tell you I don't know again I'm, I'm fishing but I'm not fishing 
ever since you walked into this house because you made up in your mind to do away with the normal and to seek God for a higher hand, God said he's getting ready to intervene in your life. What I want you to know, this next praise is getting ready to seal the deal for you, your house, your finances, your health, and your well-being. He said, because I've graced you just like that. Start praising him right there. <laughs> he said, I've graced you. Oh. That's it, that's it. And to the assignment of the enemy to try to afflict you in your body, I cancel his assignment and I speak to perfect health. Oh, my Shonda Bahaya, you shall live and not die. why you gotta wait on the Lord. That's why you gotta wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait I say on the Lord. Oh, all right. Tell somebody that's why you gotta wait on God. Tell somebody else this is why you gotta wait on God. Because he's going to do. You can just stop right there. Because he's gonna do. When God gets to moving, just tell somebody he's gonna do it. All right. Please, if you're not working, take your seats. If you're not shouting, take your seats. Thank you. Just tell somebody one more time for him and he's gonna do it. I know you, Foreman, I know you got your silk press and stuff going on, but you promised me you was gonna dance today. yourself <laughs> somebody clap your hands and help them breathe Jesus as your personal savior the altar is open for you if you're here and you say pastor I need the Holy Ghost come on the altar is open for you if you're here as a matter of fact
Come on, Pastor Stacy, overseer. Y'all standing, y'all be ready to receive somebody. Come on, Pastor Kittrell. Y'all stand. This this is our new normal. We work together, amen. Yes, we open the doors of the church. If you're looking for a church home, what we say? If you're looking for a church, I'll say it again. If you're looking for a church, and we're ready to receive you. Come on, because I know you're here. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to move. But tell somebody, say, he cannot fail. Come on, you need a church. You need a family. You need a pastor to shepherd over your soul. You can't continue to wander aimlessly in the wilderness. But tell somebody, come on home. Tell somebody, come on home. Look at somebody and just tell them, ask them, do you need a church home? Come on, ask them, do you need a church home? If they tell you they need a church home, I want you to come and bring them. Yes, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, we welcome Sister Nicole. Come on, First Lady. Come on, she's home. My wife been showing me her pictures online. She been taking pictures in front of the ECC banner. So she might as well. Come on, I, I need to hear the church. If you need a church, if you need a church, come on, come on, there's somebody else. There's somebody else. You need a home. You need a church. You need brothers and sisters. You need a family. Come on, tell somebody, this is what we are. This is family. Huh? We love each other. We fight each other. But at the end of the day, we know how to come back together and worship God what? Together. I don't like Carla most days, but... I just messed it. <laughs> yes! Come on, church! Come on, church! Come on, Nana! Welcome! Welcome! Come on, if you're looking for a church, if you're looking for a church, this is the church. God is working on Nana today. Ayana Lise. God is working on her today. Hallelujah. If you're looking for a church. If you're looking for a church. Tell somebody one more time. This is the church. Now ask them. Do you need me to bring you to the front? Come on church. Help me go fishing. Do you need help? I'll walk with you. I'll talk with you. I'll bring you. I brought you to church, now I want to bring you to the... I brought you to God, now I want to bring you to my church. Come on. Come on, I want you to just... Come on, ECC, stand up. Clap your hands and give God a loud praise for two of our newest members, Sister Nicole and Sister Ay Ayanna Lise. Thank you, Sister Nicole, Sister Ayanna Lee. You can find, follow Minister Keisha, and she's just going to take some basic information from you so we can welcome you into the house, into the household of faith. Come on, clap your hands and thank God. Be careful what church you show up, you just might join. Thank you. Take your seats. Take your seats very quickly. Amen. We got to listen. Brother Corey, when is this stuff coming in? Y'all, our floors are coming in tomorrow. 
Some of it has already been delivered. We already got it in the back. Amen. But our floors prayerfully will begin to start the work this week. Amen. Thank you for your liberal giving. Amen. Even when you don't want to give. Amen. You don't let pastor stay up here and look a hot mess. Amen. Continuing to ask for money because guess what? I'm about to ask you for some money right now. Amen. So I need... We got to make our budget, amen, for this afternoon, amen, and we got to make sure that we are able to do the things that we need to do. Tell, tell somebody, the rent is paid, lights are on, you're fanning, so the heat is on, amen, and we're still building the house of God because we realize this is not, a, this is not it. This is not it. This is just a step in the direction of where we're going, amen, amen. So I need, very quickly, I need six people. Who did I say? I need six people to join me in sowing a seed offering of $100. And I want you to come and I want you to do it quickly. Don't make me have to wait for it. Amen. Minister Jackie, I'm sowing $100. Amen. If you don't have $100, but you got 50, find somebody on your row and say, help me sow this. Help me sow this. I got 50. I got 20. I got 10. Grab it and sow it and come place it in my hand, whichever way you're sowing it. And I need at least 30 people, those that are in the house. And those that are watching us online to grab a seed offering of $35. $35. Thank you, Minister Jackie and, and Elder Hicks. Thank you for sowing that 100. Come on quickly. Quickly. Thank you. Deacon Designate is seen sowing. Thank you, overseer. Thank you. Come on. Amen. I would make Coleman take off that blasphemous shirt. In this house, he ought to know better. This is not a patriot house. Fuller, you can go somewhere. This is a giant's house. <laughs> oh, don't crucify the pastor. Don't crucify the pastor. Thank you, first lady. <laughs> but the Giants did beat the Patriots twice in the name of the Lord. That's the only time you're going to see the Giants and the Cowboys get together on that one. <laughs> Somebody says sit down. <laughs> Come on, thank you, Sister Ashley. You're sewing. Thank you. Thank you, Deacon Coleman. Thank you, Sister Ashley. Come on. We're all sewing. Whatever you're sewing, if you're sewing it, amen, by texting to give, I believe Journey has the information on the screen. Amen. Y'all, we got to get some screens in here. Amen. Some of y'all be looking when Pastor Kentrell introduce a new song, and y'all just be like me. Because you never know when that camera going to come around. And so you and Sister Mabel, you want to be seen doing something. So you clap and you bop, and he'd be like, he'd be like, come on, I want the church to sing. You're like, no, no, don't make us sing, because we don't know it. We don't. Maybe next Sunday we might know it. Not, not today. Amen. Deacon designate jail in the show. No, you better find some money. Nope, nope. You too late. Find some money. Thank you. Thank you. Deacon Des. Listen, I'm going to find something. I'm going to find it somewhere. Sister Nicole, you got some money? Come here. If you ain't got it, listen, we sow for each other. I'm not putting you on front street. I just want you to sow something. And if you need it, guess what? We're going to sow for you. Huh? I say, don't leave me out there on the cliff. <laughs> Get ready to fall off. As a matter of fact, Sister Nicole, did you sew already? Don't sew. I need somebody to give me $25 for her. Thank you. Come put it in my hand. Come grab, come here, Sister Nicole. Because this is what we do. We, we, we look out for one another. Give, 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 get her hand. What, is that the right hand? Right hand. Now we're going to put that in my hand. And we're sowing. Somebody say, we're sowing. Because God's going to do it. Thank you for your gift. Come on, I need some more seed sowers. Who's sowing? Come on, you got to touch my hand. Follow the instructions, y'all. Whatever way y'all sowing, put it in my hand. If you're sowing electronically, if you're sowing by texting, if you're sowing, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Sister D. Thank you, Brother Norman. Thank you, Minister. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Nisi, you got some money? Come on. Imani. Imani about to run into some money. Y'all come, 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 come. Be seen sewing. Thank you. Thank you. 
Malaysia, come here. <laughs> you skip it. All right. Are you still working? Your hours got cut to two days. Somebody say God's about to do it for her. He's going to open up the door for you not just to work and take care of that baby boy, but he's going to open up the door for you to work full time. Come on, I need a church. Don't get tired now. I said he's going to open up a door for her to work full time with benefits. Somebody say in Jesus name. Oh, yeah, I found some. Thank you guys for putting money in their hand. Come on, this is the little drummer. This is our little protege. We got to get some, uh, what do we say? We're going to get Sister Ashley some tambales. We're going to get some tambales for what's his name? I'm talking to you. Jaden. We're going to get some tambales. We found out that he is a drummer at co-op. We want to make sure these young people are working in the house of God. They're not going to come and sit for two hours and be like, why we got to go to church? No, no, no. They're going to be found working. Amen. All right, now go touch the bucket. Wait, hold on. You gave some money for real? All right, just make it shit. You know, he did. I, I see the thing turning. I see it turning. I see the cash app wheel turning. I see the cash app wheel turning. I see the cash app wheel turning. Tell somebody money is about to hit my cash app. And somebody shout money is about to hit my cash app you better receive it that was prophetic in nature and fan it down your road and say my cash app wheel is about to turn because money is about to hit it oh sell Venmo cash app Apple Pay. Ways of finding money. I'm a money magnet. Money's about to find me. Wire transfers. Money's about to find me. Oh. I'm not doing that to you. Oh, 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 no, no. I ain't got a voice to do that. Tell somebody, just hit my account. And I'm not talking about Dr. Set, my, what's his name? Uncle Sam and the tax stuff. I'm talking about divine transfers. Now, I ain't, this ain't about to be unexpected because I'm checking every day. Tell somebody on your road something's about to hit your account. Something just hit my account too last night unexpectedly. On a Saturday night. Not even a work day. Deacon Coleman says something hit his account unexpectedly. Tell somebody, expect the unexpected. All right. This Wednesday night, if you're not busy, don't want to watch the Super Bowl, come back at 4.30. Amen. There is a quartet concert being sponsored by a young quartet group in our city. New Zoom? Resume. Resume. The Gospel Quartet Group Resume is sponsoring a quartet. I thought it was resume. It's resume. Okay. Resume, the Gospel Quartet Group is a group of young people doing their thing for God. And they are having a gospel quartet concert tonight here at our church. People want to use our church, y'all. That's because y'all putting them work and the money into it. 
And so they're already reaching out to us asking when can they use the church and when it's available, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Amen. So that means we do got to do a good job of upkeeping. Amen. Amen. I came in today and I saw some things on the ground that shouldn't have been. I don't know who shouted out their necklace last Sunday. You would be. Yeah. So let's let's be mindful. Amen. If you see something, pick it up. Amen. If you see some tissue, get a glove, get something to pick it up. Thank you. If you see gum, please. My brothers and sisters, let's do better. Amen. Amen. Look around, look around you before you leave. And if you see something that needs to be picked up, pick it up. Amen. Amen. So the group Resume is holding a concert tonight right here at the Empowerment Christian Church. They're featuring the Gospel Sensations, the group Solid, the Heavenly Stars, New Beginning, Kevin Powell, Corey Sharp, and... I can't see the C sharp band and vision music all sponsored by the gospel quartet group resume. Oh, it's also featuring Kevin Powell. They will all be here tonight. Uh, the doors open at three 30 PM. The program starts at four 30 and the tickets are only $10 at the door. So if they're asking for $10, most likely there won't be an offering. Amen. So if you want to come and you don't feel like watching the Super Bowl, make sure you're here tonight at 3.30. Amen. This Wednesday, we will be back here for prayer. Uh, I believe uh, next Sunday is for what? The culture. So you come make sure you, you know, Wakanda forever. Uh, your dashikis, your headbands. What do we say? No bonnets. But you can do head wraps. Amen. Amen. And then we'll come back the last Sunday and we'll close it out. Amen. Can we clap our hands for our young people one more time? Amen. We thank God for you. And let's give a big praise for our newest members. God is still doing it. And he, just like he said, it's cold, man. Yes. Amen. Sister Malaysia has worked diligently and she has the Valentine's Day baskets for those that have pre-ordered. Amen. I'm not sure if she has extra for anybody that wants to make a purchase, but you can see Sister Malaysia. Let's indulge our entrepreneurs. Amen. Amen. We got a house full of them and we want to make sure that we support them all. So please see her in the back. The Home Buyers Workshop is happening. Nope. March 29th. Amen. We said everybody going to be owning, right? So I need you to be on the lookout for the flyer. One of our online members that is making transition to become an in-person member. Uh, she is working in real estate uh, and she has a whole team of people that are ready to help you get where you need. Amen. Amen. And they're going to do it for free. It's free 99. So it doesn't matter where you are credit wise. It doesn't matter where you are income wise. If you said, Pastor, I want this year to be the year that I either buy my house or start making strides to purchase my home. You need to be here March 29th at 630 p.m. Amen. Preferably, the flyer will be out this week. Uh, we just have to go through a little bit more hoops because it's going through another business to make sure the flyer is approved. But once everything is approved, we're going to post it to our realm first. Members get first dibs. We need you to register because they buy in food and all of that. All right. So membership, you will get first dibs to register and then we will make the flyer public uh, to the town of Hamden. We make the flyer public on Facebook to the O'Keefe Center and to those within our community so that we can start doing more community projects. Amen. Amen. God is doing it. Amen. Is that it for our announcements? Amen. Come on. Did you not have a wonderful time in service today? Amen. I promise I'll get to the word next Sunday. Tell somebody just wait on it. Never mind. Oh, come on, stand to your feet. And he fired anyway. Now just <laughs> Amen. Thank God for our musicians, Brother Aaron and Brother Brian, and they're coming in to help us. Come on, stand to your feet. I promise we're leaving you, leaving this place, but never the presence of God. Father, we thank you for what our eyes have seen and for what our ears have heard. We decree and we declare from this time forth and forevermore that we shall never be the same. Now, God, as we leave this place, but never your presence, we ask for you to go with us as we go with you. Love us and we will be loved. Keep us, we will be kept. Deliver us and we shall be delivered. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, both now and forever. And the people of God said amen, amen, amen and amen. You are dismissed in Jesus' name. Hug three people on your way out and tell them you got to wait on the Lord. <laughs>